Happy Halloween, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Yeah, you can see I actually have a full-blown cape on today. Uh, it is Halloween, a special Halloween edition of Running on Empty Food Review. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, and uh, I do wish all of you watching a very happy and healthy Halloween. Yeah, here we are. I am going as Dracula today. Uh, so many people say that I look like a vampire as is. So I put on some vampire makeup, uh, put on the cape, and uh, here we go. We are going all out today for Halloween, but we really are. Halloween is one of those holidays where, for me, I had mixed views about it. At first, I was not a fan of Halloween. I never really liked it all that much. Um, but over the years, I've gotten a, a greater appreciation of it, to tell you the truth. And I still think some things about it are silly, but I do like the aesthetic of it overall. And I uh, decided to have a little bit of fun today to, um, yeah, to just have, have, a, uh, have a good time. We're going to try out some Halloween donuts. We've got lots of Halloween uh, regalia. And you can see maybe you hear some Halloween uh, lawnmowers in the background. But we got candy. We've got some Halloween decorations, some lights. So, I mean, we, we're going all out today. But uh, if I sound a little strange, and I don't know how this really um, converts to the camera, I did get a lot of major dental work done earlier in the week. Uh, it was actually a procedure because I was saying I really like Halloween nowadays. Um, I go all out for it now. So because I was going with the, the vampire costume, I actually got my teeth uh, surgically molded in order to actually look more like a vampire's fangs. Um, but as a result, it does recover. It does require some recovery time, so that's why I sound a little weird. No, I'm just joking. I had a crown lengthening done on one of my molars, and I had to cut away some of the gum and all this, and it was a major surgery. I was knocked out uh, with the anesthetic. I have a ton of stitches in my mouth right now. But, uh, you know, hey, I, I feel up to it today, so I wanted to uh, check in, let you all know how it's going. But, you know, it hurts to talk a little bit. It hurts to move my jaw, but... Um, you know, better than yesterday. Every day seems to be better than the next, so that's good. I like capes. I think that they're pretty interesting, but the one thing about capes is that they do get in the way of things, so I am going to remove it for now. But you can see we are going with standard suit and tie underneath. But yeah, you know, it's been a busy week. It's been a, uh, it's been a busy week. Had a lot of stuff done. The, the surgery was done on Tuesday. So I gave myself a couple days to rest. Again, I still need to rest more. I have to eat certain things, do all this, but um, since it's been a couple days, I figure we're going to go ahead and we're going to try doing this review. So when you think of Halloween, uh, I think you traditionally think of, of the candy, right? You think of the Halloween candy and all that stuff going uh, trick-or-treating, right? You know, you can get some of the good stuff right there. Uh, but one thing that I think screams Halloween more than any sort of candy is donuts. Uh, donuts, to me, is the most Halloween thing there is. Uh, hands down, no doubt about it. And uh, one of the places best known for donuts, of course, is Krispy Kreme. So they have these seasonal donuts out. I figure they'll be available for the rest of the day today, at least. Maybe more. I mean, I don't know. You know, you might find some poor neglected Halloween donut you know, still sitting there uh, in December. I don't know. But uh, they have all these different types of Halloween donuts. I got a little bit of variety pack. And we'll just try a few of them out just for the fun of it. You can see, there I am with them. Let's just get a thumbnail here while we're at it. You know, something like that. Um, but yeah, you can see they have these different flavored donuts. All these different things. Um, this one here is modeled after the surface of Mars, right? Because that's real Halloween-esque. Um, you've got this one, right? Which is supposed to resemble a bowling ball. All right. Uh, this one actually is uh, modeled after me. You can see they really got the hairline. They got that all, all good. They got the purple skin. Um, they even got the blood there, you know, after the dental surgery and everything, so uh, this is really spot on. This is me. Uh, they've got this one. 
All right, it looks like a traffic cone right there. And then finally, uh, this is Frankenstein. So those are the uh, Halloween donuts that they have. You know, they're all different types. We're just gonna try out two of them because again, I'm probably not even supposed to be eating these right now, but I'm just gonna do it carefully and we'll go from there. The two that are most interesting to me, the Dracula one and the, uh, I suppose that's Frankenstein, because those have different fillings in them and uh, that should be fun at least to try. I think the Dracula one is supposed to be raspberry filling. You can kind of see. I got the whole box of donuts for uh, $7, by the way. Which, yeah, that's a pretty good deal, all things considered. But, uh, we're just gonna try them out. We'll go from there, we'll just try out these two. Again, I'm sorry that this isn't like a full-blown, you know, review. Um, but just given the circumstances, I hope you understand. So, I'm gonna use this, this uh, skull, right here as my plate. And uh, we'll go from there. Now, because it's gonna take me a while to eat this, I'm just gonna pause the camera and then we'll go from there. So first we're gonna try out the Dracula Donut from Krispy Kreme. It's going in. Okay, because you know, they said I'm only supposed to eat on this side of my mouth because this is where I have all the stitches and everything. So, I'm trying to be careful. Um, after picking at this one, you can see I even ate the eye and everything. It's pretty good. It's a novelty donut and all that stuff. Um, my only complaint is that I wish there was more raspberry filling. You know, when you zoom in here, and you see, you know, you got all this empty space right here. I wish there was a little more raspberry filling. Um, the frosting doesn't really taste like anything special. It's a standard, you know, sweet, uh, sugary frosting. It's really just a jelly donut, you know? The raspberry filling is flavorful, soft, it's chewy. Um, but I just wish there was a little more raspberry filling. But I think these aren't necessarily supposed to be the world's most gourmet donuts. Uh, rather, they're just supposed to be something fun and decorative to uh, eat for Halloween, you know, just for, um, you know, just for bleeps and giggles, as they say. So, uh, no, I mean, for what it is, it's pretty good. Again, I personally, I wish there was a little more jelly um, in the jelly donut. And second, we're just gonna try real quick uh, the Frankenstein one, you know, right there, kind of looking at you. Don't really know what emotion it's trying to convey, but looking at you either way. Try that, you can see it actually does have a little pretzel stick. I don't know if I'll be able to conquer that, but we'll try it. So uh, now we're gonna try out the Frankenstein donut from Krispy Kreme going in. All right, looking at it here, uh, a similar problem. You know, it's good, it's tasty, um, this one is very sweet. It's got like this cream filling in it. Um, but again, take a look. There's not a lot of it. Uh, there's the pretzel stick. That's where it was. And um, I was able to eat it. But you can see again, very doughy, but not a lot of filling in this. But overall, the um, yeah, this is like a vanilla type cream filling in there. Uh, so it just makes for a very sweet, very, very sweet um, donut. But again, my only complaint is that I wish you got a little more filling, you know, for what you're, uh, for what you're getting. That's just my one thing. That's just my, my one, my one complaint. Not even much of a complaint. I mean, it is what it is, but, uh, that's just what I always like. I like a little bit more. Not to the extent where it gets in the way of things, but that's just how I like it. So, um, overall, though, I would give the donuts probably a, uh, probably a 6.7 out of 10. You know, they can have a little bit of adjustment, a little bit of uh, some tweaking, if you can say, wherever they can just be a little better with that filling. But overall, look, the two one, the two that I tried right there were uh, pretty good for what they are. You know, seasonally themed, just something fun to eat, why not? If you're a donut aficionado, may as well just go get them and, uh, you know, see how you like them. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Again, sorry for any missteps or whatever during this video. I didn't even know if I was going to be able to do this one today. Uh, yesterday I tried to film this and I just couldn't do it. It just hurt too much, but um, I'm glad I'm able to kind of be here and uh, and uh, do this Halloween blowout today. So uh, every day I think we'll get a little better than the next in terms of recovery, and uh, we'll go from there accordingly. But in the meantime, please be safe out there, be healthy, and have a very happy Halloween. Take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Today we tried out some of the Halloween donuts from Krispy Kreme. That's all.